Sorry for my croaky voice, I'm just waking up and I was like, you know, it would be nice to do a quick video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the simple facial moisturizer. And yes, I'm filming in my bathroom once again, so it's a bathroom edition. So I've been using this facial wash for over 10 years. And the thing is, I always had a lot in stock. So while I was in Nigeria, I was using this facial wash. This this is the only facial wash I my skin agreed with and once I discovered it, I stuck with it like I didn't even try any other kind of facial wash. Not until I moved to the UK, I you know saw other variants, other brands that were good. So back to this one, this is said to be for sensitive skin. It's um, a moisturizing facial wash that is 100% soap free and then kind to skin. It has no artificial perfume, color, no harsh chemicals that can upset the skin, no soap, no alcohol, no mineral oil or animal derivative. One thing I know the brand Simple For is to, most of their products do not contain colors or anything that would basically irritate the skin. I'm going to like show you guys the consistency, tell you guys if it has any fragrance or not, and then just talk a little bit about it then like as we go on, I'll tell you my experience, why I like no longer use this, and then I'll tell you the kind of skin I feel will be most suitable to use this. So let's begin. So um, let's see, can you see? It's quite jelly and then it's opaque. That's what it looks like. I'm thinking, okay, let me just add a little bit more. It might be, um, and then like it says it has no fragrance it has no fragrance so this is what it looks like right here and it's opaque it's not really clear it's opaque so can you see so i'm going to run this under the tap a bit then massage it onto my face so this is it without water of this my palms together then and it really like it really lathers that's one thing i like about this so if you know sometimes like if you're not able to double cleanse you can get away with this you know just using this alone i'm sure it really takes away your makeup very very well like it really takes the makeup off really well i forgot to mention at the moment my skin is a bit dry because because of the treatment I'm currently using I and so yes but normally I have combination skin more of oily skin so uh, I'm just massaging this out washing my face my face didn't feel tight it felt all right but now that it's even drier like my face is totally dry is a tad bit tight but not it's not to be honest it's not like alarming it's not alarmingly tight it's just a tad bit tight and then um, my face feels very clean in fact it feels squeaky clean <laughs> and then um, I just felt it took off all the oils all like everything and you know I'm just waking up so um, my face feels um, a bit flaky right now and it's because I'm currently using Tretinoin and my face is purging, my skin is purging so it, my face is currently very dry, flaky and then right now that I finish washing my face it feels, I can see the flaky things going on, it's very little, very minimal but it's there and then my face feels quite tight so I'm just going to use a bit of hyaluronic acid to um, plump up my face to add some moisture because that's what I do immediately I wash my, my face this doesn't really get into the eye if it mistakenly enters your eye it won't stick, it won't burn because most times when I have this I like keep my eyes open and nothing really happens to me but I'm not in any way suggesting that you should use it and then keep your eyes open For 10 years, I, I used this um, religiously, like I didn't use any other skin, any other facial um, wash because the weather here is quite different 
to what we have in Nigeria. Like Nigeria is really humid. While here it can be dry and then cold and then it can dry out your skin. So I stopped using this because I found out that it started um, becoming too stripping and then too drying for me. But it was so amazing while I was in Nigeria because it was always humid and then I was always oily, I was always greasy but like it got, it did the job very well while I was in Nigeria and not to say that I would never use this again, I would definitely use it, well, I, in fact I always have it in my stash, it's something I always have but I always reach, reach for it when maybe during the summertime when it's really really warm or maybe if I'm traveling to a place where the weather is quite warm that's when I get to use it. I have stopped using it here because it's quite stripping. The other one I really love from the simple is the, the micellar water face wash. Face, yeah, face wash. I've done a review on it. I'll put the link. Here, so do check it out that one is amazing I will totally recommend that one anytime any day it's not stripping it's amazing it does the job well it's really hydrating anyway it's not about that wash it's about this one um, I would highly recommend this for people with very oily skin if you've got very very oily skin do reach out and grab this one and again it's really really budget friendly it's pocket friendly it's really affordable it's about i think i got it for like two pounds something or three pounds i'm not entirely sure i know that mine usually lasts for about for a couple of months yes if i'm not mistaken it might last for a couple of months and then check out come on look at the price it's really really pocket friendly so if you're on a budget and you're looking for a face wash that won't um, irritate your skin, you've got oily skin, you've got sensitive skin, definitely go for this simple uh, face wash. And I'm, th I'm thinking even if you've got, even if you've got like normal skin or, or combination skin, you can still go for it but be sure to really moisturize after using it. In fact, you know what, if you're on a budget, you can go for it. If you have sensitive skin, totally go for it. However, if you find out it's too drying, just reach out for your moisturizer. Make sure you moisturize as soon as you use it, and then yeah, you'll be alright. It's not it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it will cause you to break out, irritate your skin, or do whatever. The only the most you can do is to um, dry you out slightly, and that's just after you've washed your skin, your face. As long as you throw on your moisturizer and everything you'll be totally fine um, that has to be for today's video i hope you found this video really helpful if you want me to do a comparison video between this one and then the micellar one i'm happy to do that let me know in the comment section below and i'll totally do it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching bye